so in our previous lesson we have learned to uh, refactor a code using partial view in this lesson you will understand extension methods and how it can be used to refactor our code extension method are the new features introduced in c sharp which enables us to add new methods or function to the existing types without creating a new derived type recompiling or even modifying the original types so what that mean let's understand it by an example let's create a console application name it extension method we are going to create an application which will ask your name as an input parameter and it will display the number of characters in your name and also it will display the words in your name so let's uh, declare your name as string console dot write line to display anything on command prompt so it should accept your name uh, so we'll say what is your name console dot read line to accept the name from user and assign it to your name variable next we will uh, display hello message uh, with the input name and then display the length of name we will use length property of string type this is the inbuilt property of uh, string type console dot read key to stop the application until we press any other key let's run the application to see how it goes provide any name perfect it's display the length of provided name correctly now we need to display the counts of words in name So let's try your name dot word count. There is no such method available in string type, but we can add new methods easily using extension methods. Let me show you how we can do that. Create a new folder to add the extension methods, name it extensions. Although there is no need to create folder, but it is always a good practice to keep extension methods in a separate folder. Add a class. As a naming convention, uh, we should name our extension class uh, with the name of type we are going to extend. So here we are going to add extension method for string type. So naming it string and suffix it uh, with extensions. There are few rules to define an extension class and methods. Number one class and all the methods in that class must be static so define this class as static and let's add a static method that should return integer name it word count this is the second requirement of an extension method that first parameter of extension method should start with this keyword and it should be followed by the type we are going to extend as we are going to extend string type so after this keyword we will use string type and name this parameter as str in this method we will perform a split method on str parameter split method returns array of strings on the base of given splitter we will use single space as splitter here and then we will use length property of an array to get the number of elements contained in this array so our extension method is complete next we'll use it in our program this word count method is still showing as an error because we have not yet added the namespace in which our extension method is defined let's add the same great so error is now removed 
so now if you press the dot after your name and scroll down to the available methods you will see word count method is available here so this is the power of extension method you can easily extend any type and can add your methods to any type without modifying that type let's run our application and see how it goes provide any name it's displaying the word count let's add some spaces before and after the count rerun the application provide a name perfect it's displaying the word count in your name using extension method but i know there is some bug in this application let me show you that rerun the application and this time try to add multiple spaces in your name and see the results it's showing seven words in your name so how we can resolve that so we need to replace multiple spaces with single space to resolve this problem let's do that next in our extension method although there are many ways to remove multiple spaces from a string value but i like regular expressions for this because with a very few lines of code we can do that easily so str equals regex control dot to add the regular expression namespace dot use replace command provide str as input parameter and provide second parameter that what is to be replaced so we'll use a regular expression here so here s denotes to a space plus is used to match single or multiple occurrence of preceding character provide third parameter as a single space because we need to uh, return single space in place of multiple spaces let's run the application and see if our problem is resolved or not and now provide any name with multiple spaces perfect it's returning correct word counts now so now you have good understanding of extension methods next we will use the same in our bike application so first of all we will understand that what is the need of extension method in our application and what would be the benefit of using this if you look at our application to display this uh, drop down list we are using a method that is defined in our view model class which convert the i enumerable of makes to the i enumerable of select list item here this is required because we cannot directly use i enumerable of makes here in our view so we have created a method in our view model to convert the i enumerable of makes to the list of select list item but what if if there are hundred of drop downs in our application where we need to convert the list of various other types to the select list item to display in drop downs if we go with this approach we will have to define this method in every model associated to that drop down so in order to resolve this problem we can create an extension methods for i enumerable that will convert any type of list of objects to the list of select list item so theoretically it sounds some confusing so let's go ahead and create an extension for i enumerable and use that in our application add a folder in our application to add various extensions add new class in this folder name it i enumerable extensions as you know all extension classes uh, should be static so let's make it static and copy the c select list item method from view model and paste it in our extension class at present this method is developed specifically to convert the list of makes now we will make the required changes in this method to make it generic so that it can be used with any type of object so first of all this method should be static system is showing error under select list item because we have not added reference to the required namespace press control dot to add the reference and error gone after adding the reference rename this method to to select list item here we are passing uh, make as i enumerable list but as we need to make it generic so we need to pass a generic parameter here 
and we can use it here as generic parameter. As you know, first parameter of any extension uh, should start with this keyword followed by the type of uh, we are going to extend. So our parameter is now generic. Uh, let's make more changes in this method wherever we are passing a variable specific to the make object. So instead of saying it make list, let's rename it to list and change all the references in this method. Here we are passing a make type of object in for each loop. Let's change it to where so that system can get the passed object at the runtime instead of at compile time and name this variable as item instead of make. So what can be done to get the value of various properties of a generic object here. Here we are going to use reflection to get the type at runtime using get type method. Then we can get the property by name of that object. Then we can get the value of that property pass item as parameter. Second parameter will be null and then we will convert it to string. Copy it and paste it to get the value of id. Change the property name to id here. So our extension method is ready. Let's go to our view and use this extension method. So in order to use the extension methods in any view, we have to add the reference of library on the top of view. So we'll use at the rate using room dot extensions. So here in place of using the method from view model, we can use extension method here. Model dot makes dot. You can see our extension method is available named to select list item. Let's use this. You can notice that how clean this approach is and now this extension method can be used with i enumerable list of any type of object. We do not need to define it again and again. Control shift B to build the application and see how it goes. great it's working perfectly so this is the power of extension methods uh, you can add methods to existing type and can make your code cleaner this line is also getting too long we can use extension method to make it simple so let's add another class name it reflection extension because we are going to extend the reflection here mark this class as a static add a static method to get the property value of any object let's pass generic object as parameter to the method and use it as a parameter next add another parameter to get the property name for which we need to fetch the value and copy this line and paste it in our method use return statement to return the value of property use property name parameter here instead of a static property name so now instead of using this long line uh, we can just use item dot get property value here and can pass the property name for which we need to fetch the value. In a similar way, use it to fetch the value of id as well. Control shift b to build the application and test it. Perfect, it's working as expected. 
So now you have good understanding of extension methods and how you can use it wherever required. Next, we'll implement authentication and authorization for our application so that only authorized persons uh, should be able to access these makes and model master. Stay tuned and also subscribe our channel by pressing the subscribe button and press the bell icon to get the alert as soon as we upload any new video. Bye bye. Thanks for watching this video.